Welcome back to Monday, dedicated to caregivers. Um, I made a list of outdoor and indoor activities. Um, the problem is it got too big. <laughs> so, so I'm going to have to break it into two videos, which is fine. Um, so today I'm going to do outdoor activities. I know that it's getting a little bit more colder, uh, but there are still time to, to do some outdoor activities. So um, before the snow flies or before the rain flies or wherever, whatever part of the world you're in. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to move my camera just a little bit. Okay. All right. So outdoor activities for today. Uh, just, you know, going out and visiting uh, friends and family, that, that's a good one, relax one. Um, going to parks, uh, in researching parks, visit parks you haven't seen before, uh, you know, so that's, that's a good, always a good one. Uh, do a uh, new park for the day and also do a picnic, so, you know, you go all the way out there, you get hungry, you know, do a picnic. Um, investigate restaurants. <laughs> That's always a good one, <laughs> especially accessible restaurants. So then, you know, there's some apps that I've given in other videos uh, in which, you know, and I'll, I'll put those, I'll connect those to, to this video so that you can investigate that one and you could have a project of adding restaurants that are accessible to this app, and you'll be a huge contributor, uh, or you could just do it to Google. Uh, Google now has, you know, some, some signs that you can put up as an accessible restaurant, and that helps to a whole bunch of people. You can make comments, so it could really become a, a project of investigating restaurants and who's accessible, who isn't. Uh, you can make comments about the restaurants that are not accessible, but you would like to be there. Uh, you know, so uh, all that can go on Google or other apps. So that would be an interesting project. Um, going to a lake, a river, I don't know, and just hanging out there. You can have a picnic or you can do some fishing. Uh, fishing is a great uh, sport, you know, if you're able uh, to do that, but you know, fishing is, is you, you have to get a, a license to do that, uh, but that is great. Uh, I think the, the fishing license is kind of reduced for people with disabilities, so you can check that out. Uh, let me see. You can do an adventure day. <laughs> you know, choose a place that you would like to investigate and uh, check it out, and you know, also put that on the Google map of great place to go for people in uh, wheelchairs. You can go out and watch a, a soccer game. You know, there's wheelchair soccer games and there's wheelchair basketball games. You can investigate in your area where there might be a game going on and you can go watch those. Those are indoor. Uh, sometimes they can be indoor, sometimes outdoor. So you can check those out if you like sports. Um, so that's another great outing, you know, uh, baseball, I think they also do it in tennis. So there's a lot of sports happening, uh, from, uh, people's wheelchairs. So check that one out. Archery, if you're interested in doing a, a sport yourself, you know, uh, talk to these, one of these teams and see what you need to do. But archery is another one that's pretty popular. Uh, I think indoor and outdoor. So um, museum trip, you know, the museum also has different exhibits at different times. I know my, uh, I think my museum, I'm very interested in going uh, to see Egypt. They have an Egyptian uh, exhibit on, on uh, Tutum, Tutum, Tutum Kamen. So uh, on one of the kings. So I'm kind of curious about that one. I want to check it out and, and see if I can go. So bowling night, you know, um, bowling night, that's always indoors. And uh, that might be a fun, a fun one if you're uh, able to do that one or you just like to watch your family play 
or be on a team and root for a team, that could be another uh, cool thing to do. Uh, swimming, swimming is always, always healthy for us. Uh, and if you can find a pool that you know gives you assistance in getting in and getting out, uh, that might be an interesting thing to do and good for your health. Uh, bird watching, uh, and, and here in the United States, we're in fall, the trees are changing, the birds are changing their activities, so, so that if, if you're into birding, uh, that can be done indoors or outdoors, including, you know, that can also be put on the map in terms of, you know, uh, I've gone to this park many times, I've helped, sometimes you can even help count a certain bird you know, there are certain birds that are going into extinction, so sometimes they raise the birds and then they release them and then they got to count them to see how they're doing in the outdoors. So that could be another uh, good thing to do. Or other animals, you know, it doesn't have to be birds, but other animals like, you know, sometimes they need to count a certain duck or they need to count uh, a certain, uh, you know, uh, type of turtle or you know so you could also help in 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 those cases and count off and participate in in nature do do let's see concert in the park i don't think in here in the united states right now i don't think that's a good idea it's either raining or snowing <laughs> so <laughs> but when summer comes you know you could look up you know certain concerts in the park that uh, would be probably accessible uh, for a wheelchair to, to be able to enter and exit. So, and those are, you know, all these activities can be put on the Google map or one of these apps that I've also um, put on there. So, do do pool, uh, billiard. So if you like to play pool, uh, that might be a, a great uh, game to, to pick up either at home or at organizations that have a pool table and you can compete or you can just do it for fun. So, um, you know, it's, you know it's, it's really important for us to get out and I have to confess that I'm one of those who doesn't get out too much. But, you know, I have this idea of the museum uh, right now and of the art museum. We have a great art museum and they're both accessible so so it's, it's, it's good for our soul, it's good for our mood to really try to get out and uh, to don't forget your local zoo. <laughs> I almost forgot to add the zoo. The zoo has outdoor, um, you know, events and they have indoor events throughout the year. You know, I don't know in your country or in yours or in yours, but uh, the zoo is good to check out in, in bigger cities and see what's going on in uh, either fall or winter or summer. So uh, check it out in, in your region and see what's happening. And zoos usually have uh, very good uh, accessibility, most of them. And uh, the only thing is if you have a service dog, the service dog will not be able to go uh, because it, it, depending on the exhibit, uh, it could upset upset the predators. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, the zoo is one that your service dog might not be able to attend. So, uh, but otherwise, as a wheelchair user, it is a, a great idea to keep in the back of your mind if you want to get out and and do something. Go to the movies. You know, not just do movie night at home, but get out. You know look at AMC or, you know, whatever uh, movie theater you have nearby, uh, that would be fun. Uh, I went out with a friend not long ago, and we, we had some ice cream, some treats, and then we went to watch the movie. So it was, it was cool. It was cool. And sometimes they have events in which uh, they want to premiere a movie. And so you can sign up for that, and you get in for, for free. You have to, I think, you know, fill out a, uh, a, a little sheet, what you thought of the movie, all that kind of stuff afterwards, uh, and send it in. Uh, but that's another way to, to be able to get into a movie for free. Or, you know, just go to a movie, you know, oh, you, you saw this advertised and you really want to go. 
So, you know, that is my list of um, activities for outdoors. I'll do a separate one for indoors, you know, because the weather is changing around the world. And for some people, it's becoming summer. And for other parts of the world, it's becoming uh, winter. So, so it works for, for both sides. So I'll make another video so it's not too long. So this, can, this video also can work for the wheelchair user, give some ideas of, oh yeah, I'd like to do that, or no, or for the caregiver who's trying to figure out, you know, what can I do next, or what can we do next to uh, include the person with, um, with a wheelchair. So that is it, folks. I'm hoping all of you are doing well. I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you find this video and other videos helpful. Uh, I want to encourage you to remain safe as we start to change weathers and that you're ready for that change until we settle into winter. Uh, I want to invite you to, again, to subscribe and to like and to put in some comments or other ideas that you might have that might be very cool for a wheelchair user to do to get out of the house and, and have a different kind of day. So... Thank you so much. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you next Monday.